start with Chef Shea. As you can tell, I'm in a new kitchen. Um, we located to Atlanta, but we're doing the same thing, which is creating bread pudding today. And I just want to put out one key fact that I am cooking on a gas stove, vice versa to an electric stove, so my cooking process will be a little bit faster. I'm going to go over the ingredients that we're going to need today to create the bread pudding, and we're just going to need bread, milk, butter, vanilla, three eggs, cinnamon, fruit of your choice. I'm using peaches, apples, um, pineapple, and I'm also going to be using pecans. I'm going to need sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and I think that's everything. I said vanilla. Oh, and I'm going to also be using a fresh banana. Okay, so we've already went over on our ingredients, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we're going to need to do. So this right here is about, I think, 10 pieces of bread slices, and what you're going to do is you just take this bread and just break it up into pieces. Uh, just like this. It doesn't need to be anything pretty or fancy because we're just going to melt it down with the other ingredients. So, just breaking it apart like this. And some people even say you're supposed to use stale bread. I'm not. I'm using fresh bread. But stale bread just helps it absorb things better. But I, I'm just not going to use stale bread. But my grandmother does use stale bread. And some people even say use moldy bread. But we're not going to be doing that either today. So I've got my bread breaking into pieces. And I'm just going to let that stay over here and kind of let it stay out and get slightly stale. And in the bowl, I've got my fruits that I've already mixed together. It's peaches, pineapples, a little bit of cherries, and apples. And I'm going to go ahead and mix in my fresh pecans that I have here. And also, you're going to need three eggs. And what the eggs are going to do is they're going to help everything just stick together in the finished process. And you'll see once we cut it in half. So you can always just remember that that's what eggs do. Together. So this right here is sugar, it's plain sugar, it's pure cane sugar, that's why it's brown. And then another cup of regular sugar, which is just white sugar. And then in this bowl here, I have a mixture of all my other ingredients, which is the nutmeg, vanilla, uh, cinnamon, and all those flavors together. So we're just going to pour all that into one bowl. And you want to kind of get this to be mixing rather well because we're going to pour this right into the other mixture that we have going here. So we're going to take that and pour it directly into the bread. And you kind of want to make sure that you get it over the whole entire thing because you want the flavors to be mixed evenly. Okay, so I'm cutting up a fresh banana here. Because using fresh products inside of a recipe is always the best thing for taste-wise. I'm just going to chop off the ends here. And it doesn't need to be any type of pretty chopping because we're just going to take all this and place it into our other fruits. So I'm just going to kind of do a rough dice. I'm just going to take all those bananas and stick it right into the bowl with our other fruits. Okay, so I've got everything here together in one bowl and I'm going to mix all my liquids together beforehand. So I got my three scrambled eggs together and my one cup of milk. I'm going to just pour this directly over into the bread. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like this. And you kind of want to push it down in there because what you want to do is you want the bread to absorb that milk and eggs. Okay. Pause. Bread sitting in the milk and the eggs and let it soak for about 10 minutes. And I'm just going to pour the, the remainder of my ingredients, which is just the fresh fruits that I cut up myself. It's got the pineapples and peaches, cherries, plums, <laughs> apples. It's really just whatever you have sitting around your house, you know. Dad, you don't want to go bad, so you might as well do something with it. Mix all that in there, and if you notice, I'm only getting the fruits and not the fruit juice because we've already got that milk in there. We don't want it to turn out too watery, so I think that's about enough fruits here. And last but not least, I'm going to add the pecans. I think I'm going to place those on top. So, this right here is a real southern meal. If you live in the city, I'm pretty sure you're like, What is this? But it tastes real good. This is something that I really, really love. I had to get this recipe up off my grandma quick. OK, 
Okay, so we've got everything in here. We've got the eggs, milk, brown sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, pecans, fruits. So we're going to take all this and we're going to place this into the oven that I've had preheating at a temperature of 350. Um, bread pudding in the oven for about an hour and 30 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and check on it. And as you can see, it looks very done, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out the oven. Oh, it should look something like this. Mm, it looks really good and you can smell that nutmeg and everything coming right on out of there. It smells really, really good. So I'm going to take it over here to my plating area. And you want to just make sure that when you do take out the oven for like the first 30 minutes, it's very important to let it cool. What that's going to just do is let all the juices and everything settle before you start cutting it. So we're going to go ahead and let it sit. Pause. Okay, so yeah, I've let my plate and everything settle here and I went on to cut a piece of it. It came out the uh, bowl very, very easily. So that's a key reminder to make sure that you guys put butter at the bottom. Now, as you see, we've got the pecans, the bread, the butter, everything. It came together really well. It's really good. And you can leave your questions and comments on my Facebook page under Chef Shea. Thanks for cooking with me today. It was really a pleasure. I don't get no country to this. All right.